Yes, it's been a busy week. From the US vetoing a ceasefire in Gaza yet again to the revelation that Joe Biden's dog bit Secret Service agents at least 24 <laughs> different times. But we're going to start in West Virginia, which has spent the past several weeks debating a bill to impose criminal penalties for exposing children to obscene literature in schools and libraries. The debate has featured some spectacular testimony from concerned citizens reading out material that they objected to. Are you going to eat her p***y? Yeah, Earl. I'm going to eat her p***y. Hey, yeah. Do you even know how to eat p***y? <laughs> Papa Gaines never sat you down, said son. One day, you're going to have to eat the pussy. No, but he did teach me how to eat a butthole. Look, I admit, I don't remember that scene from The Giving Tree, but it's been a while. And in retrospect, it does make sense for the tree to sit the boy down and explain how to rock the box. It's an important lesson. But while that hearing was clearly ridiculous, the law itself is serious. Violating it can carry a felony charge with a penalty of $25,000 and a sentence of up to five years. Many have called it a book ban, although the bill's backers push back on that, with one of the speakers who supported it saying, we are not banning or burning, we are protecting. Although, I'll tell you what you're definitely not protecting, that is, my ears from hearing, eat the pussy four times <laughs> out of this woman's mouth. But while West Virginia may not be burning books, obscenity bills and similar moral panics are spreading around the country in places like Missouri, where a candidate for office released this video. This is what I will do to the growing books when I become Secretary of State. Let's go. <laughs> Welcome to the main event. Applying pressure, but I promise ain't that. This book's from the Missouri Public Library. When I'm in office, they will burn. OK. So there is a lot not to like there, including that her flamethrower is apparently fueled by liberal tears. <laughs> which... What? I'm not saying the GOP's messaging is in disarray, but are liberal tears the thing you love to drink because your enemy's sadness tastes so sweet? Or is it the deadly fuel for your very cool shark-themed flamethrower? Cos you've got to pick a f***ing lane there. And it's worth noting that Copstock was also a leader in the New York Society for the Suppression of Vice, whose seal, fun fact, depicted someone burning books. Oh. Which, to be fair, conservatives don't do any more. As we all know, they use flamethrowers now. <laughs> and that is the thing that ties everything I've just talked about here together. There are politicians currently desperately trying to distance themselves from extreme policies that they have enabled. You can't... You can say, we're not trying to ban or burn books, but that's what's happening. You can say, we just want more kids, but you're making life incredibly hard for people, including those who desperately want them. Burning books and ending IVF are the natural endpoints of the extreme policies they've held hands with. And if they are not at least willing to own those consequences, then they can, in the words of what I believe to be this country's greatest public speaker... Eat a butthole. Well said. <laughs> well said indeed. And now, this. <laughs> 